Robinson Crusoe, one of the most famous names in world fiction and a classic tale of survival and endurance. He runs away to sea, disobeying his father. He's captured and enslaved on the Barbary coast, escapes to become a planter in Brazil and starts trading in slaves himself. But Crusoe is punished for his sins. Shipwrecked alone on what he calls the Island of Despair, he will be stranded for 28 years of suffering and atonement. Fortunately, Crusoe turns out to be tough and resourceful. In the 19th century, Karl Marx thought him the embodiment of the capitalist spirit. In the 20th, James Joyce said he embodied the spirit of empire. He salvages what he can from the wreck and starts to rebuild a miniature civilization of his own. He sows and harvests crops, he tames and breeds livestock, he manufactures goatskin clothes and earthenware pots. And then he finds, in fact, he's not alone. First, a solitary footprint in the sand. Then, the native Carib he calls Friday. Daniel Defoe, who wrote Robinson Crusoe in 1719, was a man who had seen life's ups and downs for himself. Like Crusoe, he said in a commentary on the novel, he too had been shipwrecked often, though more by land than by sea. This is a tale of survival in which we can all find our own story.